And we are recording and I'm really excited about um, my interview today with sister um, Carol Mary Nolan and uh, Car um, Carol, um, sister Car Carol Mary Nolan is a Carmelite sister for the aged and infirm. And um, one of my, so my first question is uh, you kind of have two first names and I don't know if I should call you sister Carol or sister Carol Mary or sister Nolan or sister something else. Um, so, so what's, um, what, uh, what should I call you? Uh, you, you may call me uh, Sister Carol. Okay, okay, that's, uh, that, that's probably the easiest. I, I, I have to, I now have to tell you a joke. Um, <laughs> my, 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 well, the, 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 like we all have um, regular names. My, my regular name is um, Carol Mary Nolan. And now, uh, oh, and then uh, my brother says that he knows the first name of every sister in the, in the community. He says that the first name of the community, the first name of the sister in our community is sister. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a great way to remember everybody. Uh, right. <laughs> Yeah, so so it's so you, you can call me uh, Sister Carol. <laughs> okay, um, Sister Carol, that's um, thanks. So you've been involved in cluttering and kind of spreading the word about cluttering and helping people to connect with cluttering for quite a while. The Facebook cluttering group that you um, started and you're the um, administrator of, um, I think um, last year or this year it turned ten years. Um, 10 years well, old, but, so. Uh, last year it turned 11 years old, so this year it, it will be 12 years old. My, my oh. 11th is the anniversary date. <clears throat> oh, wow, so, so we're coming up on, uh, we're coming up on 12, 12 years very, very fast. So, so that's a long, long time for you to be um, helping, um, helping people connect um, with, uh, with, with, with cluttering. So, um, so, so could you um, could you talk about uh, well, actually, um, first first before you talk about the Facebook group, um, I'm kind of wondering if you can talk about your experience, like like how you found out about cluttering, um, how you found out about about your speech, um, um, how you found out that what you were doing was cluttering, and um, just, just just like with you personally, how did you how did you figure that out? Well, um, well, my. My speech problem started when I was a little child. And so um, my mother being a nurse knew that, that um, I had a speech problem. So, well, the, the first thing I remember is going to like a speech therapy group when I was about like five or six or so. Uh, um, and, and then, um, at the age of 10, uh, she took me into Boston Children's Hospital for speech therapy. And it was there that um, I, was I was diagnosed that the, uh, I had speech problems in the area of um, language. Then um, when I was 18, I went to see a speech therapist in Lexington, uh, Massachusetts, and he was helpful uh, for me to get ready to go to school. And then, uh, you, you see, then years later, like in the uh, like in the nineteen nineties. Uh, I, I was going to like counseling and the therapist su suggested that I go to uh, speech therapy again, it, it, because I think when I am depressed, uh, it, it shows up in my speech as well. So I went to um, this speech therapist again in Lexington uh, and he was the one who uh, told me about um, the cluttering. And, th and then he also recommended that it, it would be good if I went to like um, something like the 
National Stuttery Association uh, like support groups. So, so I also went to um, the Boston North uh, support group of the National Stuttering Association. Then I went to, um, let me see, oh, like the 2001, 2001 uh, conference that it, it was in Boston that year. Then, then I also went to the um, conference in Anaheim in 2002. And, and then, um, okay, so, see, oh, the, and then, uh, let me see, oh, the, and then in 2009, that, that is when I founded the uh, group, Facebook group on, uh, on, on cluttering and um, on cluttering. Oh, oh. And, and then uh, somewhere along there, I, th I think it was like maybe in 2007, um, it, the, the, the American Speech Hearing um, Association had their conference in Boston. So, so there was a meeting of the International Cluttering Association in uh, Boston. So um, I, I was able to meet people like um, Kat, Kathy Scaler Scott, uh, Ken St. Louis, um, it, it, plus I think Judy Custer. Okay, so in um, 2010, uh, Judy contacted me to, to um, con contribute a paper for the first um, cluttering conference, the first online cluttering conference. Um, so so I, I believe that that paper is still online. So, so th th that's how I, um, my, my cluttering story. Cool. That's a, um, that's a really interesting cluttering story. And then especially since uh, especially since um, you were um, basically um, basically kind of diagnosed at five, even though um, you you didn't find out about actually cluttering until uh, much uh, much much later in your life. Um, right. right. Uh, well, so I, 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 actually, it was um, well, 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 uh, it, well, like my my mother. Oh, well, my mother knew that. Um, that that I had a speech problem, and, and an interesting fact about um, the, the speech therapist um, didn't think that I was intelligent. But however, um, my parents took me into a doctor, a doctor in uh, Boston, and the and the one thing that I remember about this doctor is him telling me to put like um like um like squares you, you know how you put squares into squares and circles and just you know like the, the the board with with the circles and the blocks so, so um uh he, he knew that i was uh intelligent at age five four or five whatever age i was so, so he called the speech therapist and told her that I was in, in, in intelligent. Then, uh, and, and, and then at the age of 10, um, the, the, let me see, she took me into uh, like Boston Children's Hospital and I saw this doctor, um, I, 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 I think his name was Dr. Joseph and he ran through um, the diagnostic um, test. And he, he said that uh, like my problem was in the, um, let me see, the, the language area of speech. And, and, and then to get back to like um, the, this, my speech therapist in uh, Lexington, uh, he said that uh, like my executive uh, language function was not automatic and it was paired with uh, difficulty in language. So, so that's 
that, that means like I, I have problems like um, organizing my thoughts when I'm speaking, but I think I'm doing, uh, th they do pretty well. Now, uh, oh, uh, I, I didn't say that, um, let me see. I, I also went to uh, speech therapy in like 1981 uh, when, when I was um, stationed in New York uh, City. And, and she said something like, um, when, when I speak, uh, like as I'm speaking, different things come into my head. And she said, just continue like on the first thing that you're saying and, and ignore the second thing because what I was doing before this is, um, I, I was speaking and then another thing would come in and I, and, I, and I would attempt to switch to the second thing, but she said, no, to just continue what you're, you're, you're saying. And, and then another thing that she said was. Um, oh, and, and, and let me, um, let me, uh, let me just stop you for, for a minute because I, um, I, I think that's really fascinating. Like that's something that I do all the time. Um, that's something that I do all the time too. Um, and I think it's one of the um, easiest ways that people can tell that I have cluttering because I just, I, I start a sentence, then, then mid sentence, I break off and start something else. Um, and then go on and then go on and on like that. And I don't know, like if somebody told me, hey, hey, Joseph, um, don't, uh, well, um, lots of people have said, hey, Joseph, don't don't do that. But it sounds like your advice was really, really constructive uh, where where she understood enough about what's going through your head to say, OK, well, just keep going with that. Um, keep going with that sentence. So so for me, that's really for me, that's really, really tough, especially when especially when I have two thoughts go into my head or I, or I have a thought, like I realize, oh, well, well, the sentence that I'm saying isn't really making sense and I need to give some background first before I, uh, um, so, so, so just for me, uh, for me that, uh, for me that seems like, well, well, it seems like really good advice, but it seems really, really tough to actually do. So I'm, so I'm wondering like, uh, like, um, like from, um, were, uh, were you able to, were you able to pretty immediately say, okay, well, I'll, um, I'll start. I'll start following her advice, or, or did it take a while? And was it was it easy, tough, or uh, 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 with that? It, it it probably took a while. Um, it probably took a while to do that. Uh, well, but then um, I, I, I was also in therapy at the time, and he said that the, the uh, once I started doing that, he said that my speech was better. So so. so it in doing that improved my speech, uh, but but then interacting with other people, um, let me see, or or speaking with other people. Uh, oh, it, 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 let me see. Oh, it, it, it's kind of like when um, people ask me questions about like various things. It it takes me longer to formulate an answer. Um, so I have to say to people, it takes me, when you ask me a question, it takes me longer to formulate um, an answer. So uh, so I, I don't know if that answered your question, but, but, but it, I think it did take a while um, to, to do that. But it's helpful to remember that though. Oh yeah, um, and that's um, I've I haven't heard I haven't heard the advice, uh, or I I've heard stuff related to that, but I haven't heard it exactly like that before. So that's actually a really really cool technique and advice on how to make your uh, make your speech a lot more fluid. Um, yeah, because I think if if somebody had given me that advice and if I had had figured out how to actually do it, then I think uh, my speech could have gotten a lot better a lot a lot quicker. Uh, yeah. And I kind of, um, I think I kind of do that now um, because like, like if we would have talked 10 years ago or 20 years ago, then um, I would have, um, I would have been doing that a lot, a lot more than I'm doing it right now. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so, so I, um, I don't know, I, I don't know exactly why I don't do that so much now, but, uh, but, but yeah, um, anyway, I, um, I just think that's really, really cool advice that I've never heard of um, before, uh, yeah, before like you. that. So, oh, so, so, so one of the things, um, 
One of the things you mentioned that I thought was interesting is about speech planning and that it takes you a while to formulate your answer. And one of the things, uh, like, like one of the things that I realized is that um, I, I kind of like missed that part of development where somebody okay. asked, um, somebody asked me a question, then I think for, uh, then I think for like five seconds or however long, and then I start answering. So mm -hmm. I, so either, um, either I, either I think just I, like my, uh, my brain kind of goes in a, um, in a, like, like, like a, a thinking loop and I just don't, don't say anything uh -huh. or I just start talking immediately. And, um, and so one of the things that was really helpful for me is, is to learn how to do that, um, mm -hmm. to, um, to learn how to like take some time and think of my answer before I actually say well, it. Right. Uh, uh, um, yeah, so, because um, if, if people ask me questions about things, well, if I, uh, um, know the answer, then, then I'm able to like speak immediately. If I'm familiar with um, like the subject matter, um, it, it's, pr it's pretty likely that I can speak um, uh, like fairly quickly. But but then if you ask me a question about like maybe um, politics or something, or um, or, or it, it would take me a while to, to formulate an answer because um, I'm not really familiar with po politics. Uh, it, it, oh, pl plus, um, I, I often think about like, um, um, oh, let me see, oh, the, the maps that we have in our heads. Um, if I, let me see if I know that the maps in um, are in both our heads are similar. Um, I, I, I can explain to you um, uh, things, uh, um, but however, um, it, if the if I think that the maps in our heads are uh, like, like not the same, that that means I have to uh, like figure out. Um, figure out how to um, connect with you in, with your different um, it, with a different map in your head oh so, so um, uh, I just well if I think that's something if the, if my map is not the same as yours so that means I have to give you um, background information about the oh, about the map in my head so, so that, that kind of like slows up uh, uh, the, the speaking um, process so I think uh, uh, oh so so I hope that makes sense oh yeah it uh, it does make sense because that's uh, that's something where I think my uh, my uh, my speech kind of falls apart too is when uh, like like I know that someone like doesn't agree with me. Um, and I like, like I don't really like arguing very much. Um, I'd rather um, I'd rather say I'm, I'd, I'd rather say well let's uh, let's talk about your opinion and and then we'll and then that's valid and then let's talk about my opinion and, that, and that's valid. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, well, so uh, yeah, and con confrontation can be very difficult with me as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, and and that's uh, that's interesting about like maps in maps in people's heads and that if like if if our maps are similar then. Um, then it's um, then then communications um, easier, smoother, um, better. And then uh -huh. if, if the maps are different, then uh, then we have to like figure out. Oh well, um, how do I um, how do I explain more background so that we can get on the same page? So uh, um, so, so so yeah, that's a uh, that's a really interesting way of describing it. And and I uh, th um, that's something I definitely think about a lot too, especially like um, especially if. Like if somebody if somebody says something that's wrong and and I don't know how to or um, like like I don't know it, it's a lot easier for me just to go along with okay well now the, um, now the world is the same as your world view uh, uh, yeah yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> some, sometimes what can happen with me um, well it, 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 it's like something happens it, it, and it, it happens so fast. 
um, th that I can't make a reply to it. <laughs> so very often I don't say anything at all to, um, to, to the other person involved. So, so um, sometimes it's just best for me to, to let it go and and go to the, go to the other person uh, like later it, it, well, especially if there are other people uh, like present um, it, 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 it's kind of like you, you don't want to um, uh, you, you don't want to end up like in a shouting match you, 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 you want to uh, oh you, you want to communicate um, smoothly and and fluently and I think that if I am like feeling upset with the person that that kind of like uh, slows up my um, thinking process and then um, um, oh so, so um, be, be oh, oh I, I think being upset with the other person, it also shows up in my speech as well. Uh, but then if I am um, uh, like fairly comfortable with the other uh, person, um, I, I can speak like, uh, like fairly, uh, like fluently. Um, so that, that's about it for that. Okay. Yeah, and that makes uh, that makes a that makes a lot of sense and is and is very interesting. So so Annette, um, another question or, or uh, this is more this is more a discussion because um, so so a lot of times um, and, and and actually I, I I already kind of heard your answer to this because I because um, I listened to your podcast on um, on stuttering is cool um, the stuttering is cool uh -huh. website um, so. Uh, right. Um, so, 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 so you already kind of talked about this. So sorry, I'm sorry for doing a, a second um, kind of podcast with the exact same content. Um, uh, but, um, but, <laughs> but um, typically, um, typically, um, typically, people who have cluttering or, or, or like like a lot of the books say that um, people with cluttering talk really, really fast. And um, and 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 you have a uh, you have. Uh, like very very normal rate of uh, of speech. Yes, I do. Um, yep. So, um, so, 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 a question that I have for you is like, like when you were five, were you were you a super fast um, talker, or why, uh, why, uh, why is it that you uh, why is it that you don't that you don't talk um, fast? Good question. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, um. Let me think. Uh, I, oh, and, and and I can um, no, I can no. I I don't think I talked fast when I but when I was five. It, it, it I think it was that um I didn't I didn't talk much at all. I don't think. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, because I um well let me let me see. My mother uh said that I didn't talk until I was about like in the first grade or so 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 so, uh, no, so I was not a fast talker um, ever uh, yeah and why, why is it that I don't have a fast speak speaking uh, a fast speaking right now uh, well I, 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 I think that in speaking um, let me see I well I I, th I think that I have learned. Uh, I I think to slow down when uh, well when, to slow down in my thoughts when I'm speaking because my thoughts can interfere with what I am speaking. So that's I I think that's why I have a normal um, speech. Um, oh, okay. And if I I, I I might be misquoting you on this because um, um, I listened to the Stuttering is Cool podcast like about a month ago, um, but but I think your um, I think your answer on, on that uh, because you're a Carmelite sister for the aged and infirm, um, and so and so I think I, I think you talked about how you you work with uh, you work with a lot of really older um, older people um, in your in your ministry, 
Um, and if you and and you kind of uh, well well I'm this um, I'm the same way too. Um, my my next door my next door neighbor growing up was um, um, he um, he was really old and he and he spoke very very slowly. So when I um, and I uh, I didn't know anything about cluttering then, but I but I knew that like if I talked um, if I didn't um, talk like super super slow, he just wouldn't understand anything I was saying. So um, so so I think you talked about um, I think. I think part of your answer, at least um, uh, back then on, on that podcast a, a few years ago, uh, was about uh, was about part of was about um, how you ha have to do that for your um, for for being a Carmelite sister. Uh, right. Well, oh, right. Um, uh, well, well the, 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 uh, what I do um, it, it, it is to like um, d drive the. Carmelite sister um, to their uh, like doctor appointments. So so in uh, it, well it, it, well I, I think older people uh, they, they it can be a lot of uh, fun communicating with, with the old, older people simply because um, let me see. Uh, some of them cannot cannot hear what what you were saying um, because they're hard of hearing. So, so you you need to uh, like look at them and um, speak carefully and slowly to them and uh, well. Uh, I like to make sure that they understand uh, like what I am uh, saying. And so, um, well, so, so in, uh, it, can, it can be hard to communicate with older people um, simply because they are uh, like so fragile um, in, in, in their health but if you um, if you treat them uh, like with uh, kindness um, they, they, they should respond um, like uh, fairly well to you as they're um, as you're speaking to them <laughs> cool and um, and and so so the other thing the other thing about your speech that's really interesting, and um, so, so I, I um, you know how they're, uh, you know how they're, um, like Ken St. Louis spent all of his life coming up with the definition of cluttering. Uh huh. Um, right. and, um, and, and so, so I kind of, I kind of have my own definition that's, um, that's different than, uh, that's different than a lot of, um, that's different than all the other definitions. So, so my, my, my okay. definition is, um, my definition is that there, there are four, four different types of disfluencies. Um, repeti or uh, four different types of normal disfluencies, um, and then uh, folks with cluttering basically have just a lot uh, higher rate than normal of those. Uh, so, um, so, um, so, yeah. so that's uh, that's my uh, that's my definition is the um, is the frequency at which disfluencies occur, and and and, and those are uh, repetitions, interjections, revisions, and then um, telescoping or, or compressing words. Um, so, uh, so um, and uh, but but, uh, but that's different than all of the other definitions out there. Uh, all of the other different, all the other definitions are centered around an irregular rate. Oh, right. I, I don't and, have an irregular rate, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, um, so, um, so that's what, uh, that, uh, that's what I wanted to talk about because you're, uh, like, like, from my perspective, you're, uh, um, for, from my perspective, I, um, I never would have thought, oh, uh, what, uh, well, is, is Sister Mary, uh, um, does Sister Mary have, or does Sister Carol have cluttering yeah. or not? Uh, because uh, uh, because basically you talk just like me, um, but uh, but but with a uh, with with all of the definitions kind of centered around rate, and and I kind of don't like that that thing with rate either because like if I if I stop talking irregularly, then does that mean that my uh, then does that mean that my cluttering is cured? Um, and prob probably not because. Well, 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 um, my, my, my. My, my my theory is to cut, cut, well speech problems are never cured <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, yeah anyway, so like, if if you're if you if you have a speech problem oh, it, um, 
if you have a speech problem, it's never cured. Um, it, it, it's always present. Uh, uh, well, it, it, let me see. Let me see. Well, it, 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 it uh, oh, to, to, to me, the uh, speech disorder can be an in, individual in speech disorder because it's not readily evident to other people. So, so, so it's really up to me to say, uh, it, it takes me longer to process what you're saying to me. So give me time to answer uh, the uh, question. And so, um, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, that, that's about it for that. <laughs> and, 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 and you know what? Uh, another thing is, um, let me see. You can be talking and talking and talking, and the, and the, and 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 then it's kind of like, oh, how do you end the 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 topic or in the <laughs> the stuff like that? <laughs> but but. but uh, it, it, um, a sister said to me, oh, you don't have a speech problem anymore, and I didn't say anything, but I do disagree. disagree. Um, it, 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 if you ask me a question, it will, it will still take me time to, uh, like to, to, to formulate the answer to, to, to your question, because that, that's the way I made. Huh. And that's, uh, that's really interesting. I, um, I was talking to, um, I was talking to someone, um, someone else that has cluttering and she said, she said that what she does, um, is, is when, um, it, 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 a little bit similar to what you do. Um, she said when she talks, when she talks to people, especially her coworkers, she says, uh, um, uh, she, she, she doesn't, uh, she, she describes cluttering as saying, Hey, well, um, I've got the speech, I've got the speech disorder and you're probably not going to understand everything that I say. So please ask me to repeat myself or to slow down if you, if you don't understand. Um, and so, and, and so it's really interesting because when, when I've tried to explain uh, about cluttering uh, in the past, then I, I always like start talking about cluttering and then, and then I just kind of lose my, uh, um, th th then people's eyes kind of glaze over. And so I really like your approach. I, I really like your approach and this other approach where, uh, uh, where, uh, where you're, uh, where you're basically, uh, you're basically like um, talking about, hey, I have a, hey, I have a speech disorder, but, but you're doing it in a very accessible way saying, hey, well, I have, to, uh, for me, it just takes a while to process before I can talk. And, right. um, and, and I think that's, I think that's a lot more understandable than, um, than the way that I usually describe it as saying, oh, well, I have this thing called cluttering. It's, it sounds like stuttering, but it's, it's called cluttering and, it, and it's more normal discipline. And, um, <laughs> so. uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, it, it, it's kind of like, what, 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 what's cluttering? Oh, I, uh, well, I know that I have it. I, I might not, not I might not necessarily know um, the, the, the precise definition of cluttering, but I can tell you about my own, uh, my own brand of uh, cl cluttering or speech problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and so it's, um, it, and, and so for, uh, well, well, the reason I brought up those two things that you, uh, that are kind of like stereotypically cluttering, but that you're, um, that you, that you don't, uh, that you don't do, um, is it's just really interesting. Uh, it, it, it's really interesting talking to you uh, because you're you're definitely a clutter like um, li, um, like me, but um, but you uh, right. don't but, but you don't do like two of the big like bullet points. And, and, and my my opinion yeah, always has right. been uh, uh, my my opinion has always been that those aren't necessarily um, like like really that important. Um, yeah, so uh, I, um, so I, I don't think so well, because. Um... Well, the, the, I, I, I don't think uh, 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 like specific points are all that important either. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then the way that uh, the way that I learned, uh, or, or um, the thing that I've been using to describe cluttering um, recently that seems to work better than my old approach is that I say, hey, you know how you know how I speak different than most people do. And uh -huh. um, and then um, and then and the person kind of thinks and like 
yeah, yeah. And then I say, well, that's called cluttering. So, um, so, so, so that's basically uh, that's basically like the same as like what I was doing, or the same, the same message that I, what I was doing before. But then people like okay. understand it right right away. Um, and then, right, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so usually what I do, uh, uh, usually uh, uh, what I do is. Um, let me see. Oh, it's kind of like when I meet a new person and I know that they're going to uh, like talk to me. I, I usually like make the point of saying it takes me longer to process what I'm saying because of my speech disorder. Uh, so, so that's how I handle it. I don't even go into um, cluttering. At, at, at all, I just say something like speech problem. <laughs> or uh, okay. longer. And then, um, so, so, so another question, kind of related to this, is so, so your speech is your speech is really good, and oh, oh um, actually, um, a, a, a few people have lectured me about don't um, don't say good and bad. So, um, so, so, um, so let me try and um, uh, well, well, but, but good and bad. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. But, but 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 then when I when, when I talk to my um, old speech therapist, like um, on the phone, he 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 says, "Oh, you, you sound good." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so so, uh, yeah, so, so it's kind of like, oh, uh, now is my speech good or bad? But um, but, but but I think. Um, I, well, uh, I don't think I have any more thoughts on that. <laughs> okay, so, um, so 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 let me try and because uh, uh, I'm trying to not say good and bad with in relation to uh, to speech, and I think um, I think the people that have been lecturing on that, um, their point is that if that if I say speech is good now, then um, that, then if you have like speech um, speech breakdowns, then you might get depressed to saying, oh well, um, my speech was so good yesterday when Joseph said it was good, and now. Um, um, now, uh, uh, now, uh, now it's terrible, and 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 and, 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 and anyway, so 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 um, so so my point in all that is that um, your uh, your speech your, your speech is fluid is fluid enough that I think someone uh, so someone could talk to you for for like two or three times or or, or maybe even years and not like uh, not ever consciously say oh well Sister Carol has a speech problem um, so. Um, so, so, so my question to you is: is what's uh, what's the biggest evidence that you clutter, um, especially for someone that is uh, like like because because some people just don't really focus on speech very much; they focus more on like body language or or, or like other stuff. And so, and so, someone that um, someone that never well, um, I, I I I think the 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 instant they ask me a question, and I pause to formulate the answer, that's how they know. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so simply because, um, uh, oh, it, 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 let me see. Um, I, I, well, I just remember this um, experience. Um, let me see. But like in, uh, well, it, it must have been like, um, what, like in the 90s or so. And um, oh, the, we, we we in the religious life, um, uh, we have what is called like um, visitation. Uh, so so we we each go in and um, talk to the um, sister who comes. Uh, and, and we just talk um, about what is going on uh, with our lives. And so at the end of this particular um, visitation, the, 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 the sister like made a comment about how I paused uh, about um, in, 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 before answering questions. And I said, well, th th it's my uh, speech problem. I, it, it takes me a while to um, f f formulate uh, th the answers. It, well, so, so, so uh, 
so, well, yeah, so, so I think that's how people know that I have a speech problem. It, it, it's kind of like when they ask me a question, I can't uh, answer right away. And, um, oh, so, so, so when you can't answer right away, uh, I, I think, uh, let me see, well, I, people can interpret like the pausing in, in different ways, like, uh, oh, she's not sure about this, uh, about this thing that I um, asked her. Uh, so, uh, so, no, no uh, uh, let me see. I, so sometimes I can't tell them that they're, um, that they're, uh, why in assuming that she's not that i'm not sure about the answer because sometimes i don't even know that's going on in, in their heads oh she's not sure so, so um so i think um as as the years have gone on it, it, it's just helpful to say it takes me longer to to uh, answer a question so, so yeah yes i would say that is how people would know that I have a speech problem because it takes me longer to answer a question. So I hope that answers your question. Yeah, um, yeah, um, yes, it, it it does. That's a um, that's a great answer. And then going back, um, going back in time to when you created the Facebook um, group, um, that's uh, that's a really uh, um, that, that's just a really really cool thing that you did. So. So I, uh, so I'm wondering, like, 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 why, uh, why you did it? What, um, what motivated you? Uh, what, what motivated you to, um, to, um, to doing that? How, um, how did you go from just like being a regular person with a speech problem to, um, to someone that just organized, um, or, organized this really, really cool group for everyone? Uh, uh, well, uh, let me see. Well, uh, uh, well. Let me see. Well, I I I I think because I knew that that uh, like, like people were trying to put cluttering on the map uh, uh, of the like speech rule. Uh, I, I, yeah, so I, I thought it would be helpful to, just to to just just um, start a group on cluttering. And uh, just to see how it went um, from there, and I think um, as you know, like as the years have gone on, I, um, I like there. Well, I think recently there has been a lot of activity. Well, so, so I, um, oh yeah, so I just wanted to thank you for all the work that you're doing, like <laughs> all all of the videos that you're doing. So, so I think, um, oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I think that I wanted to to start a face, uh, Facebook group on cluttering because I knew that it, it would be um, helpful. Uh, the, the, to, to the people who cluttered, and it would serve as a uh, a, a good resource on cluttering, uh, that that people would be able to support each other, because um, because I think at the time, um, I, 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 let me see, there was your group on Yahoo, <laughs> so so. Um, let me see. And I thought that um, having a Facebook group uh, would be helpful as well. We're working together with your group, even though your your group is now dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and actually, I think because um, I took a um, I took a I took a pretty long break from uh, from contributing to stuff about cluttering, and I think um, I think it was around like two thousand eight or two thousand nine that I. Um, that that I, that I kind of died um, died down. So, um, so 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 I don't think um, like even though you had hoped to like collaborate um, like, like twelve or thirteen years ago, um, uh, I um, yeah. I was kind of um, I was kind of taking a break at the same time you were just, um, uh, uh, just getting right, going. Right. So um, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. E even let me think now. Let me see. 
Um, oh, um, it, uh, it, it's kind of like, um, let me see. Um, the, oh, the, like the c convention of the uh, Americans, you know, like speech, hearing, speech, language, whatever the name of that association is. <laughs> um, they, they have had the conventions in Boston like twice. Uh, I, I think the first one was uh, 2007 and the other one was um, two, 2018. So, um, uh, oh, so, 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 in 2018, um, the people, uh, oh, it, it, Ken St. Louis uh, was at this um, meeting of the International Cluttering Association. And, and, and oh, so at this meeting, um, he said that, uh, I mean, like in the early years of um, trying to put cluttering on the map, uh, you know, I, I, he said that Joseph Dewey was very helpful because I think he he, he said that you founded your uh, Yahoo group, so, so he thought that you were that you, you were very helpful in the early years, like in the two two thousands or early two thousands, is what he said. So that that, that was nice of him. Yeah, yeah, he's a um, he's a really nice. Uh, well, he's a super, super, super nice guy. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so, um, so, so, so one question I have about the Facebook group um, is it is uh, was there anything that su that surprised you about that? And, and and let me let me give you my answer. Let me give you my answer to that because um, when I when I founded the Yahoo group, I thought that um, I thought that it would just be um, people with people with cluttering, and um, and, and, and back then, uh, back then, I think we only had about like five or 10% um, people with um, people with cluttering. Um, uh -huh. and, and, and by far the biggest majority was um, par parents of um, parents of clutterers. Um, and then and then we also had a lot of uh, speech language pathologists. So, uh, um, so so I was really surprised because uh, because when I when I was starting the group, I had never thought, oh, well, a parent of someone with cluttering might join. Um, so, uh -huh. um, so, 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 like early. Well, I'm I'm a lot more mature now, but um, but but um, but but back then I was thinking, well, maybe uh, maybe it had something to do with my like parenting and upbringing is my is my speech. So, so I wrote a couple posts about well, um, or, or, or I, I I think I was good. I, I think I was starting to write a post about kind of like critical of my um, upbringing, um, oh, and, uh -huh. um, and um and then. Um, and then I realized, oh, um, actually, most of uh, most of the people in my group are parents of people with cluttering. So, um, so, so, so I need to kind of take a different tone about uh, a different tone to this. Uh, um, but, but, but anyway, that was uh, that was when I was really, really young. So, um, so, uh, um, so, um, so now, now I'm not really thinking along the same lines like like, like at all. Um, but, but, but my whole point of that story is it just really surprised me that there were parents. Of people with cluttering. So, um, so, so my um, my uh, my question for you is is um, when when you made your Facebook when, when you made the Facebook group and, and over the last like ten years, what um, what's been the most surprising thing that you did that you didn't really anticipate about cluttering or or about the the Facebook group from um, from your experience? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, well, uh, but what comes to mind is, uh, let me see. Well, well what, what what comes to mind is when a uh, well a, a a person who ca calls herself a speech teacher, uh, and, and, and oh, her, I don't know, well. Her, she calls herself a, a speech teacher, and I don't know if I should mention her name or not. But she's no longer w with the group because I think that her um, um, theories are not really true. Um, mm -hmm. the, it, 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 and it, 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 it's kind of well, it's kind of like 
um, she would be saying like, like um, stuttering and cluttering are uh, like brothers. And it was kind of like, uh, no, I, I don't think stuttering and cluttering are, are, are brothers. So, um, yeah, so, well, so it, 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 so it was kind of like um, hard to know, now sh sh should I let this go on? Because I think she con con contri contributed uh, like um, nearly every day or so. So, so I, I thought that she was kind of like monopolizing the conversation with her, um, with, with her, uh, I, I think, untrue th theories of uh, uh, like speech problems. And, and so, I, so I think e eventually I, I decided that I would be in her uh, like, from the group. Uh, so, um, let me see. Uh, oh, so, so I had heard that she had joined other groups on like on Stunnery and I think, and, um, you know, like somebody sent a message that she, she, she has been thrown out of these stuttering groups as well. So I decided, oh, well, I, I think that I, I think that I'll do the same. Um, so th th then I banned her from the group and um, th th then I went back and de deleted all her um, posts. So, so I think that was the, um, the, the, the most difficult thing that, um, that, that I experienced in, in uh, winning the group. But however, I think on the whole, um, um, I, 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 I said, well, the, the, there are some, some groups have um, like guidelines, but my group doesn't. Um, but, but, um, uh, but however, um, let me see, if, if I see um, posts that are off, top, uh, off topic, uh, I, 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 I will delete them because of, you know, like posts that are not, that, that are not on the topic of, of cluttering, uh, I, I don't think they're helpful. So I just delete them. And, and, and then, um, uh, oh, the, and, and then I think I posted something and I, um, I, I think that I saw like uh, four letter words or swear words and I banned that member I I immediately because I do not want to see uh, swear, swear words in this group. But, but I, I think on the whole, um, let me see, in, in spite of th there being no guidelines in, in the group, people are, um, um, people are pretty good in, in posting about cluttering. And um, so, so in, in, well, I, let me see. The, so the, 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 well, the, the group has not required like much moder moderation. Um, and I am, I think I am thrilled with the activity that is taking place in the group now, um, especially with all the, um, um, oh, the, the, uh, the professional people th that are present. Like, um, I, I think you interviewed um, Yvonne. I, 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 she, she's in, in Europe, I believe. And, and I think you did two interviews with her. Um, so I, I, I think that um, she, she has been really helpful in, in, um, in the group. Yeah, and, and I wonder, um, um, so, um, sometimes I wonder how much of that is because, uh, because you're, the, um, you're the group founder and people are just naturally more respectful and less rude around, around nuns. Um, oh, yes. so. <laughs> I, 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 find, I, I, find, I find that to be true. Um, uh, yes, because, um, <laughs> yeah, yes, it can be funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it, yeah, well, um, it, 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 
let me say, um, uh, uh, I have experienced that in other areas in my life as well. It, it, I, I also go to, um, um, <laughs> to um, W, W meetings for, formerly known as um, what, like Weight Watchers. So, uh -huh. so, so, so um, you know, like sometimes, you know, like the leader um, of this group says the word like, uh, well, like maybe crap and, it, and she says, sorry, Sister Carol. So, so, so yes, I, 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 I I, I think <laughs> it does help that I'm a sister because, you know, like, the, you know, the sister uh, people are generally re respectful of sisters and they kind of make sure that they don't use um, swear language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and a really interesting thing, uh, a really interesting thing now, like, like compared to, um, I don't remember when it was that I started the group, maybe like 2004 or something like that, um, but 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 one of the things uh, uh, one of the things that I uh, oh, oh and and, um, and it, it it's really really hard to kick people out of a group like that especially like a small group because oh, oh, right. uh, um, because li 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 like for me like uh, I I would always post stuff and then I would just hope that other people post stuff too um, and so so whenever whenever somebody else posted something like even if it wasn't all that great I was like oh good at least somebody else is posting. Um, and, and, and then when I had uh, when I, when I had to delete the stuff because it was like promotion or stuff, I I I always just like like even if even if it just didn't belong in the group at all, I always felt bad deleting it just because uh, um, just because it meant that I didn't have very much content for the um, for uh, um, yeah, um, for right, um, right. for the group. And um, and so so something that um, something that happened a lot um, back um, back then is is it seemed like it seemed like a lot of the people in the Yahoo group just really wanted to talk about drugs or cluttering uh, yeah. and, and, and my um, and and my opinion is that's uh, that's just a really boring topic um, like okay. like I would um, I would much rather and, and and personally I don't think there are any drugs that actually would ever work for cluttering um, but um, well, uh, but, but 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 like even um, even if they did, it's it, it's just a super boring topic, and I'd rather I, I'd much rather um, I'd much rather um, talk about what like well I um, I tried this technique and it worked for me, um, or, or or listen to like like listen to a parent say well my um, my my, uh, my son tends to clutter uh, worse in this situation. I wonder why that is. Uh, like those are really interesting discussions, but 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 like like anything with drugs are, are just um, to me to me is just really really boring. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, and then yeah, plus, yeah. Um, and then plus, I I don't think they even work e anyway. And and, and so when I um, when I was uh, when I was starting my series on on my YouTube series on cluttering, um, I think I'm up to like number fourteen or fifteen right now. Um, uh, right. But, uh, but when when I was starting it, I think my I think my third one was on drugs and cluttering. Basically, uh, uh, basically uh, making a fifteen minute video of well, well um, stop talking about drugs so much. But um, um, uh, ju uh, just because I, I I anticipated the the same thing happening again that happened like 20 years ago of uh, people saying hey hey Joseph what drugs do you think are good uh, I I just wanted to have a video saying hey oh well watch uh, watch this video of me saying for 15 minutes that I think that um, it's a it's a really uh, it's a really dumb idea to talk about drugs and, um, and uh, uh, drink. Right. but uh, but but it's really interesting like uh, like people just aren't um, people just aren't really talking about that at all so no they're not. Um, uh, um, so, um, so, uh, and, and and maybe it's um, uh, maybe it's because of your um, sisterly influence um, over the over the group. So, uh, right. Um, maybe. Uh, well, yeah. uh, well uh, 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 let me see. But as you were talking, let me see. Let me see. Well, uh, um, hmm. well. Uh, I think that speech disorders can have well, it can have an enormous impact on your um, like emotional state. Mm -hmm. um, for example, um, well, it, 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 it's kind of like well. 
let me say, well, well I, I am a person who is prone to depression, uh, which kind of, let me say, um, well, it, it, it can have a lot to do with how I am treated. Well, no, if I feel intimidated by a, another person, um, I, 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 well, I, I think that I would tend to get depressed. Uh, so, uh, see, well, um, let me see. Oh, well, let me see. So I got into therapy and so it turned out that uh, the, the therapist thought that putting me on an antidepressant would be really good. Um, so, so I was put on antidepressant, which took the edge off of the depressant. So I stayed on this uh, antidepressant for like 20 years ago. But then um, I, I felt, uh, let me see, my situation changed. Um, so I was not as depressed as I was before. So, so that's why I um, came off the antidepressant uh, like maybe about two years ago and, and I have fared um, really well. But so I'm, I'm just talking about, um, let me see, about how um, cluttering can have a tr tremendous uh, impact on what your emotional uh, state is and, and what your mindset can be. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you can be so depressed um, probably because uh, your, your speech disorder can hold you back from relating well to the other people in your life. Um, so um, being on an antidepressant can be helpful. So, so, um, it, so um, it, it, let me see. Um, let me see. Oh, so so the anti the antidepressant will not be helpful to the cluttering, but it it, it would be helpful to, toward um, your your mindset because I think your mindset can be. Um, um, I I think your mindset is important in in how you're um, de dealing with the speech disorder yourself. So does, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it, um, it does. And that's, uh, that's a good way to describe it. And, and it kind of reminds me of something that, uh, that, that Ken St. Louis um, uh, mentions a lot about with, uh, with cluttering, then that often if you look at other, other aspects besides cluttering, then it can actually like improve um, improved uh -huh. speech um, um, to, look at, to look at stuff that's related or, or, or even just other, other stuff that's happening at the same time. Uh, yes, it, 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 yeah, it, it is helpful. <laughs> um, so, oh, 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 and and so, so something, uh, so something that recently I I realized from from the group uh, that that I never I never actually pictured ever happening is is we have uh, we have a, a few well well two that two that I know of um, people um, people that are basically self diagnosed um, self diagnosed with cluttering, uh, which means uh -huh. that they. Uh, which means that they like saw um, saw some videos or saw saw something and said, "Oh, well, hey, this is this is the way that I speak too," um, uh -huh. and um, and so 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 like back when I was doing the um, back when I was doing the Yahoo group and probably uh, probably back as as early as just a few years ago, then everyone with cluttering in the group. Um, was uh, um, like like had found out about cluttering because a speech pathologist said, "Hey, you have uh -huh. uh, you, you have cluttering, either either to the person with cluttering or to their parents." Um, and so and, and so now uh, and, and so I see that as a um, I see that as kind of a huge milestone 
where uh, where now people are like uh, looking at the internet and saying, hey, well, what's uh, uh, what uh, what is it that's uh, um, I I know I speak differently than other people, but what uh, what it, what is this? Does it even have a name? Um, and then they look and like oh, buttering, um, and then they look on Facebook and, and see your group. So um, so so for me, that's just a really really cool thing that I never ever pictured or or, or thought about happening. Um, just because okay. um, just because I started. Um, I started um, contributing to this in an era where that that never ever happened. So so I think that's really really cool. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, plus um, let me see. You you inter well, you, you you interviewed some someone that that um, let me see. That saw the group and was inspired by by the group to to uh, find help. So I I was thrilled to to think that my group uh, helped someone to. Uh, go, go go for help. So I, I I was happy about that. Oh yeah yeah, and he's in um, he's in speech therapy right now. Um, I um, I think he um, I think he said that he's um, he he's educating his um, speech therapist on on cluttering, but then she's uh, um, she's educating him on how to um, how to speak more fluidly. So it's a uh, it's really really good interesting thing. Um, oh, that's great. All the way all the way around. Yeah. Well, and, and, and then another thing about the uh, let me see the Facebook group. I, I well, um, it, it, it's prime. Well, it's primarily for people who clutter. But the, then I also said, um, and, and for others uh, who, who are who are interesting interested in fluency disorders. So it's so I. Um, uh, opened it up to other speech disorders as well, uh, but but I think um, not that many uh, people who stutter. Uh, well, I, I I don't think people who stutter belong to this group because they ha they have so many other groups a a as well. Um, mm -hmm. So. Uh, it, well, even though I belong to a few of those groups, I d don't really like follow a lot of those groups. I just follow my own group. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it, well, yeah, and because it's... I think I think stuttering and cluttering are or or two two different things. It, 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 it's kind of like I find that um, it, it, it's kind of like I find that when I go to um, let me see, meetings of the National Stuttering Association. Uh, I, I found that they were talking about things not, not particularly ap applicable to me. Um, they, they, they were talking about uh, like stuttering techniques and blah, blah, blah. So, so I think, um, uh, well, it, it is helpful to go to those meetings because because um, um, you, you, you see people who understand what, what you're going through. Yeah, and um, and that's um, and that's really interesting. I've um, I've talked to um, I've talked to a few um, people who uh, people who stutter and they um, and and. Um, and, and a lot of them have mentioned that it's really, really hard to find other people with uh, with stuttering. And, and I always want to say, oh, well, actually, uh, actually, it's uh, like a, a thousand times easier to find other people with stuttering than it is to find other people with cluttering. But but but, but I've never actually um, I've never actually said that because uh, because I think it's actually uh, I think it's actually like a lot more valuable for uh, folks with, with stuttering to like um, to to talk and to share. Uh, um, to, to share stuff than um, than than people with, uh, with with cluttering, which is probably why they have uh, really really big groups and and we have and, and lots of groups and we have one um, one uh, right, one group right, with right. almost with, with almost eight hundred people. So right, right. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah, the, the uh, the, oh yeah, it, it, it's kind of like the well the last two years. It, it it has gone like um, like five five hundred and forty three to uh, about uh, like eight hundred people. So the group has grown quickly during the last two years. So 
I am happy about that. Yeah, it's really uh, it's really cool to see. So, um, so, so we're um, we're we're about out of time. And and one of the things, um, actually, I, I I was hoping to spend about half of the interview talking about Carmelite Sisters and about uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and, and, um, and and stuff related to that. So, um, so so I think I probably only have time for like a couple um, a couple of questions. So, um, so so maybe we could uh, maybe we could talk again, and I can talk uh, and, and and next time uh, next time we can talk a little bit less about cluttering and a, and a little oh, bit more about. Oh, oh, um, yes. so, um, so I would love to do that. <laughs> so, uh, um, so, 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 what am I? Uh, uh, well, my, my most, my most burning question uh, about uh, about Carmelite Sisters is I've, I've noticed after everyone's name, um, uh, it says O dot C A R M. Um, so, okay. so, so, I, I'm pretty sure that C A R M stands for Carmelite or something like that, uh, but, but okay. I don't know what O stands for. I, I, I think it stands for Order of Carmelite. Oh, okay. Uh, well, so, but then there are. Um, <laughs> there are two branches of the Carmelite order. One is um, Kals, and the other one is Discals, and um, th th that that refers Discals. I think refers to we we're wearing sandals on the feet, so we don't wear sandals. So we're, we're we are Kals Carmelites. So, so uh, th there the the Discals Carmelites are th their initials are. O C D. So I have no idea what they stand for, but ours is O period com period. So I think ours stands for Order of Carmelites. Is is okay. Is, what, what, so anyway. <laughs> okay, and, and then are are all are all Carmelite sisters Carmelite sisters for the um, to to take care of the aged and and infirm, or um, or or is the Carmelite sisters for the aged and infirm? Um, like a like a subset of of Carmelite sisters. No, um, uh, let me see. We are a separate congregation, like the Carmelite sisters for the age, aged and infirm. So what we do is um, we run nursing homes and assisted living living facilities th throughout the like the eastern United States. We have homes um, in Massachusetts, New York, uh, Ohio, um, let me see, uh, Illinois, Iowa, uh, Florida, uh, um, and then also, um, let me see, so, so I think we, we have about like 16, um, 16 nursing homes uh, and so, some of them do have assisted living facilities associated with them. And, and then, um, well, and, and then we also have our own um, health system. It, it's called like the, uh, oh, it, it's called like the Carmelite system. And we, we, we also sponsor, um, uh, it, it, it is a sister way, and we also sponsor other homes other than our own. Uh, 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 for example, we sponsor, um, let me say, Zooville, uh, which is here in Massachusetts, but, but unfortunately, I don't remember. Um, the, the whole the name of this facility, but but it, but it is here in Massachusetts. So so there are two um, things: the, the Carmelite sis the Carmelite Sisters for the Aged and Infirm, which is a, which is a um, religious congregation in the Catholic Church, and then there's a Carmelite system, which is like a um, health system, health system like. Um, um, like um, the, uh, uh, other systems like this one exist as well, but I can't remember any of their names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and that's um, um, that's um, that's really interesting, and it's a, a, and a good um, and a good introduction for the rest of my questions when we uh, when we talk when we talk again. Um, so, uh, so so before we um, before we 
Um, before we end, any um, anything else that we missed out about cluttering, or that you want, or any final thoughts on cluttering that you want to say before we end? Let me think now. Let me see. Uh, well, I, I I just wanted to. Well, I think that I just want to say, um, it, it, if you hear about cluttering, there there is help available, and you're, you're you are welcome to join the uh, my Facebook group on cluttering, where is the, where there are people, um, who who are able to support you in in your uh, quest to find information about cluttering. So that I think that's what I want to say. Everyone is welcome in my Facebook group. Cool. And I think, um, and, and, and I think your actions back up your words, because um, actually in, in preparation for this interview, I kind of went, uh, went over all of the old posts. And, and I realized that so many posts are, uh, so many people posts are people saying, hey, uh, is there, uh, is there someone, um, do you know of anyone with, uh, with, you know, of any speech, um, pathology um, experts with, uh, with with experience in this area, and and I noticed that uh, I noticed that you uh, um, that, that that most of those or uh, uh, that the pretty much all of those you responded and said oh well here's um, here's a link to find this here's um, here's this here's this um, so um, so so I think you've made it a, just oh, a very right. nice uh, nice welcoming uh, friendly group for, um, for 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 people that um, that that. Um, want to figure out how to improve their speech so 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 thanks um thanks so much for that and um thank you um thank you so much for doing this interview it's been really really um awesome talking to you oh, you're um, you're welcome. And, um and and just a very very enjoyable experience so thank you thank you so much yes you're, you're welcome I, I i have enjoyed it too <laughs> so thank you very much too okay